time and someone taking something? No, I'm no. Just, hey, Mr. Back from one day. Yeah, how you doing? Hey, I'm fine, man. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm at the doctor's office right now. Oh, okay. So you can't talk right now. No, I'm in the waiting room. Okay. Um, What's going on? I got a couple issues I'd like to talk to you about. It's kind of bothering me a little bit. Um, okay. I'm hearing a lot of... Um, a lot of talk about a lot of bad things with this house that you're not comfortable with. A lot of problems, like so many problems. Um, that's the first issue. The second issue is you went in one of the rooms, you pried the door open, went in one of the rooms and put the storm windows in there. I called uh, DJ and asked uh, what he wanted me to do with him. Right. Cause it was in the hall, it was in the hallway. I said, I said with your permission, you know, I could, if you want me to open one of the doors, I could get in there and okay. I won't do any damage. Okay. And he said, yeah, he said, that's fine. Okay. Um, as far as the issues, as far as the issues with the house, um, I'm satisfied. It was just, uh, the, the, the whole under the sink, the sink was to make you concerned and that was it. Oh, okay, because I'm hearing that you, you know, you, you're talking about a lot of issues here. I shouldn't have done it this way. I shouldn't have done it that way. And rather, you know, me, you know, hear this innuendo, I'd rather just come to you personally and ask you, is there any problems that you have with the property? Because I think it was in good shape. No, I don't, I don't know where that information comes from. I really don't. Okay. I really don't. Um, you know, like I said, the house is in a bad shape. I got the guys over here. I got the dryer. The fuse went out in the dryer, and I bought a new hot water heater, so we're all good there. Um, so everything in our front porch. I fixed the spot on the front porch, so um, everything's good to go. I appreciate you. All right. Okay, cool. Well, I just found out about it and I got it done. So if I mean, if there are issues, just let me know and let you know I'll get to it in a timely manner. We'll get it. Always, always, Mr. Book. I'm on up and up. All right, brother. You take care and you have a good day, man. Keep it loud. You too. Bye bye. Whole different story. <laughs> you know, when you're dealing with a lot of tenants, uh, not everybody, you know, is really meant for a group setting. Um, you got people that complain, you got, you know, people that want to build a narrative against you. Um, sometimes you always got to be aware of those type of things when dealing with a lot of tenants. So I had a several complaints about a guy that was complaining about everything in the house. And I haven't heard anything from this guy. So I'm like, okay, you complain about the floor, complain about this, complain about that. You know, and I'm the type of guys, when I get a complaint, I take it serious. I send my guys out like you see the guys downstairs. Um, but I didn't see no issues other than the hot water heater went out last night and the dryer stopped working last night and we got that fixed already. So I gave the guy a phone call and the guy didn't have any issues that he, you know, wanted to tell me about. And that's it. Sometimes, you know, people will vent out to others, but it's not necessarily meant for you. It's just, you know, something they just want to talk about. But at the end of the day, the house is um, up to code. It's healthy. I mean, it's clean. I, I don't see any issues, you know. But I like to do to go around when I visit the properties and find out if you know are the tenants good. Are you okay? Anything I need to do, because I want to make sure I'm taking care of them. They are paying rent, and they, you know, and I do offer us as a service. So I want to make sure that every, that they're comfortable. So when I go around and Go to properties. I check for you know cleanliness and check for you know things that I wouldn't like, and I'll fix them on the spot or call someone to take care of. Them. Now, um, after here, we're going over to another property where I was told that someone is pouring water from the second floor down to the first floor so it can go in the guy room. <laughs> I don't know what to do about this. I got to see what's really going on. This happened last night, two, three in the morning. I get phone calls and. I just hope it's not something malicious like that. In a case like that, he gotta go. I gotta get rid of a guy. If he's doing anything maliciously to, to, to harm someone else or to dest destroy the house, I gotta get him out of there. And you know, as a landlord right now, it's the roughest time to get rid of a tenant. It's the hardest time if you're trying to get rid of them for financial reasons. But if they're destroying your house or you don't have a lease with them, 
the judge usually rule in your favor to get rid of them. Hey, you didn't hear this while you're here? Man, I ain't got no sheet rock. Right, to get some. Get a, get a square or two. We seen a hole in the wall and it came from a gentleman that I was just talking to. He had fell down the stairs and um, hit his head on on the wall and put a hole in the wall. Hey, how you doing, man? How you doing, bro? All right, man. All right, just checking on you, make sure it's Yeah, yeah, I'm good. doing all right. Where you know coming down? Oh, she is? He said she was. I asked the um, PO about moving downstairs, but he don't want to move down. Yeah, I know. I, I said, can you help the man out because he situation, he won't go down. <laughs> but I tried, though. I, know, I, I even called her myself and said, can you, you know, get him downstairs so he won't fall? But she said she trying though, yeah, she so she gonna talk to another person down there. So well, you know what then? What? You know, because uh, from now I was strengthening my legs. Okay. I walk downtown all the way home. Oh, so you good? So that's strengthening that leg. I'm okay. Fall. All right, good. good. I appreciate it, Joe. All right, no problem. Any problems? Everybody good in here? Yeah, yeah. All right, good. I like to hear that, man. Because he's on probation and he can't move to another place, which I wanted to move him to. A downstairs uh, a room, the court won't wouldn't let me. The PO wouldn't let him move. I mean, it's in the same house. Uh, well, it's, it's a this is a duplex, but it's unit B. Um, I called the PO, trying to you know see why can we help this guy. You know, he's a little older. He had problems with his leg, his knees, foot, or whatever. And I want the guy safe. But after talking to him a little while ago, he said that, you know, he got good movement. He's walking miles and stuff like that. So he indicated to me it wasn't a real big concern now because he, he's more healthy. You know, everything's working better for him. But anytime I, anytime I can move a person to make it better for them, that's what I'm trying to do. The other house we had a complaint from a gentleman downstairs that water was leaking in his room from three o'clock in the morning to like six in the morning. I got the call a couple hours ago. So I sent one of my maintenance guys on this side of town over there and he told me that the tenant upstairs left the sink running. And um, from my understanding, those two guys aren't getting along. So that was a malicious act of just doing something malicious so another person can suffer. We probably are gonna go by there because I do need to talk to him about that. Because any damage to the property, he's gonna to have to, you know, come out his pocket for that. Um, I, I've been told two receptacles aren't working in the room downstairs now. This man is an angry guy. He's been angry ever since he moved in there. I don't know why, <laughs> but uh, you know, I just gotta do the best I, do the best I can and, and with situations and a bunch of different people renting you're gonna come with a bunch of different personalities where you got to try to make make them get along or, not, or be able to live with each other you know and that's a challenge in some situations because this guy usually don't give me any respect he hadn't given me no respect since I met him and I all and anytime he needed anything I was there for him but I don't know. I guess when you get a certain age and setting your ways, you know, you just can talk to people any type of any type of way. I guess I don't know, but it comes with the territory of having property and having a lot of tenants. You you got to be able to get along with these personalities, and also other people coming in need to. They got to understand they're sharing a house, so you got to do the best you can and get with getting along with people. Hey hey, how you doing, man? Everything okay? Are right, there filters clean in your room? Yeah. All right, that one's clean, and I just wiped up some yeah. some dust that was here, and, and I do feel heat blowing pretty good. Yeah, so, pretty all right, cool.
we just come in here to a property just to do a little sanity check and make sure everybody's good. If, if anyone is home, um, check the filters and if I see anything out of order, I'm gonna take note for the managers and maintenance guys to correct anything. Just, you know, you wanna do a site survey on your property periodically just to make sure everything's good. Anything that you see, go ahead and correct it. If, it's, if it is something that you can uh, fix. One thing you don't wanna do is let things go so far that now you lost control of the situation. When you have multiple properties, you wanna come around and just check certain things. I always find things that I can do to make it better. And that's just my goal to make it better, make it more comfortable for the tenant. Management. Mike, Mike, Boston. Hey, hey, what's going on with you, Mike? Just Booker. Did you get taken care of? Huh? Did you get taken care of? Yeah, I don't have, I still don't have it. That's my buddy Joe with me, man, that's just right. filming things that I do. Yeah, I still don't have the, uh, the antenna. But he's I told him to get, all yeah, right. Yeah, he's bringing me one, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Right. Boston got us, what, Boston here? I don't, I haven't heard. Him. He got to stop know. with all these signs, no, man. I know, man, they're all over the place. Damn. Shit, there's one in the bathroom. You know? <laughs> God <laughs> damn. You know? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's notorious for that. <laughs> Did he do this in, in, no, in the pen? Just here and there, like over the course of as long as I've lived with him, man. You come in here every week, there'll be like a new one. Like what the hell? Week, like, what's we call it? Yeah, you, you don't start reading, man. Yeah, I, got, <laughs> yeah, I got laundry sitting around, but it's okay. long. I just, you know. All right. Put it um, outside, don't man. forget right. when the season changed, that yard got to stay on top of the yard yeah, this yeah, time. Sure, yeah. Featherstone's not around, so, yeah. you know. I know, man. Yeah. We'll, we'll work it out. Work it out, man. Yeah. So, how, how long did you do? Three months. Three months? I mean, how long were you locked up total? Total, yeah, just, oh wait, all together. All together. Yeah. First time, when I just got out, uh -huh. first lived on one of your houses, I had been 13 years. 13 years. Yeah, it was 13 straight. Damn. Yeah, 13. Then after that, it's like. After that, yeah, it's periodic. I did, after the 13 years, I did a six month. No, I did a nine month, mm -hmm. and then I did like almost two years. Okay, yeah. so you got about a good 15 under your belt yeah, total. About, yeah. Okay. And then this little three, this is the shortest one I ever did right here. So All right. Three months, man. All right, cool, but everything's cool here, yeah, right? Everything's good, man. No problem. Everything's good to go. No complaints, man. All right, cool. That's what I like to hear, man. All right, man. Thank you. I mean, it looks positive. I mean, hey, I wouldn't take it down, but damn, you know, if it if it helps him, I guess it, you know, it is what it is, right? <laughs> wow. Hello. Hey, D, what's the code? I mean, I had, do not know. I had to go outside and check my books, man, because I don't know about my heart. Damn. somebody changed it. Yeah, I know somebody changed That's why I don't even remember it. Yeah. Hold on. Right. I'm going to text it to you. All right. Thanks. Back at it again. Back at it again. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Hey, hey, what's up, man? How you doing, man? Yeah, I got my peoples with me. Um, do you know keep cutting on that oven? No, for listen, like usually I'm not here around this time. Uh -huh. I'm just waiting on someone. But yeah. no, I listen. I come down. It's hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I guess it's. I think it's him. I think it's the other dude. Yeah. But you all right, though, right? Other than that, you all right? Yeah, I'm not planning on staying here long. You know I know, I know, I know. You know what I mean? Like, I know. It's just it's a whole lot, bro. Like, yeah. I, I, I had to speak with somebody. I'm like, listen, I, we grown people. We grown Yeah. Man. I should have to flush my toilet for no grown man. You shouldn't have to. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So he, he went and cleaned. But my thing is, like, just, just the point. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
And then like, I'm not, I'm not, ain't nothing I'm gonna do is gonna affect what's going on in this, in I got this, you. this house. I got you. Know you. So mm-hmm. That's why I'm just trying to like, do what I gotta do yeah. and be going by July, August. You know yeah. what I'm saying? What's going on here? Cause I keep doing things and it keep getting destroyed. Like, like the way the kitchen nasty, bro, listen, the way I, the bathroom's I nasty. I haven't ate in here since I, I haven't, listen bro. Mm-hmm. I haven't ate in here since I've been here. You feel what I'm saying? Just because of that, I got bleach in everything. Yeah. I, I bleach a shower every time I get up in that bitch. I bleach it before who, I use the restroom. Who is the who is doing this like nasty? You know what I'm saying? Comfort. Yeah. Comfort. And that's what it is. I believe that. You know what I'm saying? So I believe I, that. I told him today, like, listen, this my company is not gonna affect nothing. You know, yeah. The, the type of women I deal with ain't like that anyway. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like I talked to the, um, the the property manager about hopefully putting like putting a weight setter outside. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Is, is, is this possible? Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't or, know. So you like, trying to, you know, stay in shape. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But I just, for me, you know, saying trying to help other people out, I can't identify who is just maliciously, like, I told the person, clean up behind yourself. Like, it's, just, it's, it's hard to, to try to make things better when you got somebody against you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to go and um, knock on this other guy's door. This guy has been a problem. Um, older man. And um, he just he just makes it difficult for me. Pays his rent, but, you know, all money ain't good money. But in certain situations, there's really nothing I can do right now because of the probation type thing. And, you know, I just, I just try my best to work with people that's even against you at times. You know what I'm saying? So... This house should be in way better shape than this. I just spent a lot of money in here, and as soon as I spend it, just throw, I mean, just just completely trash it. Bring company over here, a bunch of company. Not even if supposed to have company over here. Um, but let's see if he's in the room. I'm gonna knock on the door and see what happens. Try them again. I think this, this was this was this was my second house. This was my second house. I uh, second house I bought, 1998 or seven, somewhere around there. I had this house a long time, man. Um, um, it's four, it's four bedrooms, one and a half baths. It's kind of beat up, but I might sell it. I don't want to do nothing else to it. You know, I don't know. But it's making money though. I mean, it's making money. It's just, uh, I just don't like to come to my stuff and it's looking like this, you know, I just, I just don't like it. Don't, I don't feel good about it. I'm making money, but I don't, I don't feel good because I got jokers working against me in here, you know what I'm saying? Making it hard for other people, bringing chicks and drugs and all that type of stuff here. I mean, it's crazy. They got to put locks on the refrigerators, uh, uh, extra padlocks on their door. Like, I mean... It, I don't know, I just hate, I just don't like it. So the dude I was looking for wasn't here. Ever since he moved in about nine months ago, he's just been kind of uh, uh, angry man. I call, we call him angry man because he, he's disrespectful, he's loud, and, he, and he's just, I don't, he's just like a hell tenant, you know? Leave food out, bring all types of women, drugs, alcohol in here, and he's on probation, and anytime you try to talk to him, he talks down to you, and... And I, I, I mean, I had it, but COVID, with COVID going on, it's really not too much I can do other than just terminate his rental agreement. I don't want to do it, but I think my hands are tied because I really don't like my investment looking like this. You know, I really don't like guys coming home and they got to come to this. He ain't coming to nothing clean, nothing nice. He just, you know. And it, it, that bothers me, you know, even though, you know, it's, you look at it like, okay, I'm making money, but it really bothers me. You know, we got heat in the house, but you just got the oven on heat in the house, but the house is hot as hell, you know, running my bill up. Then you leave the sink on so water can come down in this man's room and all run over the floor and stuff. I haven't physically, I haven't seen the person do it, but it's been reported he done it. And then he admitted to it to uh, one of my um, maintenance guys. I just, I don't have no room for shit like that, to be honest. And 
you know, I think this guy's took my kindness for weakness. I got to draw the line in the sand somewhere. And, you know, usually I don't let people get me out of, <laughs> out of pocket like this, but this motherfucker go. And I'm tired of him, so I, it's probably good I don't talk to him. I'm going to just do what I got to do.